Okay, so now let's move to the real top end of the market, which is for Brickle, it's three to five million with a little bit over $5 million. Um, I know if you go into other sectors, the numbers are going to be really different. So look, looking again, once again, looking at the numbers and, and focusing primarily on how much product there is to how much stuff is moving, um, we see some real exaggerations here. What, what are the numbers now for this end of the market? Though? Three to five million, there are 26 units active listings in the MLS being 11 up uh, over 5 million. So it's 30, 37 in total we've got in that whole 37 bracket. in total we're in the bracket of high, high luxury market. Yeah, and uh, boom, 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 boom. Same How buildings, sales? same buildings, <laughs> same buildings, and there are only three sales in yeah. the past six months. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty low. So, I mean, if you break that down, months of inventory. You're talking about four and a half years. Yeah, 52 months of inventory. 52 months. Scary stuff um, for those people who are holding product over that level. But to get the, that absorbed, it is. Yeah, it it's is. it's a lot of product. I mean, I think that the, the lesson that we take here, and again, this is all about giving you information that's actionable that you can make decisions of. If you do own one of these resale units and the value of your product is over $3 million, you've got to be really conscious and understand that Unless you're aggressive with your pricing, unless you're really competitive, um, you're not going to sell your unit. You're going to hold on for it for another four years or right. more. If you're happy with that, great. You hold on to it, you use sit it, there and I'm like, sit on it. But if you really want to get it moved, uh, you've got to really get aggressive. I mean, there's mm -hmm. no other alternative. Mm -hmm. And the products that did sell, the units that did sell, I mean, maybe if we can identify some of their characteristics I mean, in terms of finish, what were, the, what were the levels of these units? Again, uh, from the new buildings, Echo has sold in that price range. And from the older buildings, still, Google Columbus Development, Santa Maria uh, has been on the top sales, yeah. the resale there in the MLS. And they were well-finished units as well. I mean, well this finished. isn't stuff that you... Are we you... talking about 1995? Um, the year yeah. was like built yeah. in 1995. Yeah. So, yeah, so I mean, look, just because it's older, something. yeah, it, it's well built. I mean, this is the thing with the Ugo Colombo project, and this is why when we're standing here in Platine, it seemed like a really appropriate place to shoot this video. Um, essentially, Ugo Colombo is also the one who's behind Platine, and his design and his architecture is done to a level that is, is really designed to satisfy that very high end buyer. Once we've gone into the low end, which is the complete opposite, you know, we had it touted as luxury, and let's face it, guys, it wasn't real high luxury. It didn't deliver this level that would satisfy the high buyer. Now, dealing as we do every day, me and Faye, we have these conversations. We sat down before this meeting. We chatted for a good three hours. We went through all the numbers. We recognize that our buyers right now are dominantly coming from New York, L.A., D.C., high-tax states from the Northeast. We, of course, we get our domestic buyers from within Miami. But when we're looking at this, those guys have a certain, or you right. watching this, have a certain level of, of appreciation and uh, sophistication in terms of the quality of materials that you're using and that you will accept at the high level. So when you watch the end of this video, you're gonna see some of the projects for this Ugo Colombo uh, design build, and you'll understand why right at the top end, we're dealing with an $8 million penthouse um, asking $8 million, but, You've got a 22-foot ceiling in the living room, two stories up. You've got uh, over eight, 800, I think, or 900 square feet of terrace. You've got 4,700 square feet of living space. And you got finished units with his quality yeah. that he wants to put. Yeah. The marble he wants, the wood he wants, everything the way he wants done to keep you know, yeah. quality in all the units. So when you see that, you, you know, it makes you stronger you can appreciate so you appreciate that you have a better quality product in your hands yeah. and we see that in our um, customers every they, day of course they everybody wants price and but they we need to sell well finished yeah. product to hold value i always say this generic product gets crushed good quality product will rise and you should always buy the best that you can for your money always buy the corner unit the penthouse the high level the one with the views Correct. buy water view um, because look, Brickle is the urban core. It's like New York. So if you're a New York buyer, you want New York lifestyle, you want to be in the heart of Miami, then this is where you're going to focus your attention. And look at dollar per square foot. I mean, we're talking this building is around 1,200 a square foot. Correct. Now, look, uh, 
we go to LA, we go to New York, we go to Aspen, and we know that the numbers are exponentially Finished. more. Finish. If you go to the beach, and there is nothing wrong with the beach, we love the beach market as well, but if you do want to buy on the beach at this level, you will be paying, and accept the reality, around $2,000 a square foot for a finished project in one of the newer buildings. And if you want top of the food chain there, which is going to be like 87 Park, you're going to be more like 3,000 a square foot. So um, it's, it's a lot to consider, a lot to take in. Um, so as always, Barry, thank you for doing this. Thank we'll be you. updating thank you constantly. David. Read our reports and any questions, look, user analytics. We update that, it's live. You can, as a consumer, right. just play with it. Um, and we also bring you some demographic data too. Perfect, Thanks. thank you. See you soon.